This is Movie Tone. Jeffrey Sumner reporting. The latest Middle East crisis, perhaps the most menacing of all, has flared up in Iraq, a country that produces over 30 million tons of oil a year. In this picture, King Faisal is at Kirkuk with his uncle, Crown Prince Abdul Ila. Early reports of their fate, given out by Baghdad Radio in rebel hands, were contradictory. The wealth from the country's oil was used to good purpose, so the news of the revolt in Iraq was all the more startling. The inauguration of the great hydroelectric scheme provides an example of how King Faisal and his government used the oil revenue for the benefit of the people. The scheme on the Tigris and Euphrates brings irrigation, power and prosperity to Iraq. In 1956, the young king was welcomed to London by Her Majesty the Queen. He was visiting a country he knew well, for he was educated in Britain. His visit was a popular event, and he was a guest of the city of London. His address underlined and confirmed the friendship existing between Iraq and Great Britain. Nouri S. Said, for many years Iraq's political leader, was first reported to have been killed, then to have escaped. It was only recently that King Faisal and his cousin King Hussein of Jordan formed a federation of their two countries. When the crisis came, King Hussein took over. Meanwhile, the Security Council has met. American Marines have landed in Lebanon. The mayor of Latouke...